welcome to Project Overland. Uh, I'm Project and I'm going overland with the ladyship. And it's been a bit, a uh, few things on the on the go. Um, hopefully I'll tell you about those at some point, which should be, uh, I think will be interesting for you. And um, in the meantime, I'm gonna show you what I've been up to with the little bits. We're uh, still a little bit delayed on the interior, but here's what's coming up. Quite a lot of the uh, copper in there. Um, it's quite long, so there's a there's a need to get in here just quickly without pulling out the big set of ladders. So there's another need for another set of ladders to get out through the roof at the front and to get out through the roof at the back. So thanks to a certain um, global traces, cheers Dave, I found it. Let me show you. He's found it. There we go. Retractable ladder. What is for marine use? And these two. Well, I need to find a way of finding a slot on here. So I'll need to make some kind of um, clip that goes in there. And basically, do that. Down there like that. And then I've got enough to be able to get. Cool. Best thing, this was just a total guess. £79. And stainless, uh, not stainless steel. Um, and then, uh, what's it called? Just that aluminium tube and the frame finish. But cheap enough. If it worked, brilliant. If it didn't, it didn't matter. But it works. I'm not sure if I'm going to stay here. I'm not sure if I'm going to She's in second, she's holding second at the moment. I'm in auto, I'm not going to manual, but she's holding it because it's that steep. 
we're just going to walk it up, tarmac or not, we're just going to be careful of these branches on the side of the box because I've already scratched it and I don't want to do it again. And then once we start we go around this net this S bend, she starts to open up. The main rack. It starts to level out a bit and then we'll get a little bit going. Minor mass panic minor, minor panic then there was a wasp hanging right by the wind at the open window. And me and wasps do not get on. I know most people don't like him but properly uh, suffer from them so <laughs> right here we go I've got my foot absolutely nailed to the floor on the throttle she's still holding so any minute now right I am gonna back off I don't know manual that's why I'm gonna put it in auto stupid idiot that's why there we go so she's now that's why Here, obviously, you can hear and feel a change in gear. You can see me, way there we go. You'll see me bounce. I mean, foot still nails to the floor. And we are properly shifting now. We're up to 40 kmh. So, squeeze it down a bit.
put into manual. Now I'm in second gear. There is a in that tree. I'm in second gear now, so she's going to walk down on her own without me having to worry too much about the uh, the brakes. That'll save wear and tear on the brakes. Checking the mirrors constantly. Checking where we're placing now. We're going to have to watch out for dead traffic cone so I don't kill it anymore. Yeah, missed that. That's the bend on that side, so you've got to be, and then we've got a stone on the left and a metal gate on the right. So we've just got to be nice and tidy, clipped the edge of that stone with the tire, just want to shift a little bit. big into unboxing videos I don't see the point I, I take my stuff apart carefully and I open things up carefully but I'm not one of these people that sort of like shows you in depth because you get all the noises and the squeaking stuff and all that kind of thing. <laughs> right, that's my hand there, that's my full hand span. So you, you can see that, uh, the size of that. Um, this is beautiful. I mean, if I just turn this round now so you can get a close up of it. Um, you get a close up of that area, look at that. And that's made. And that's really tidy. Obviously, that's for cooling because bizarrely, whoever told you know, they used to say LEDs don't give off heat. No, they do. I mean, you've got 19 of them, big, powerful ones, and a reflector like that. So, there we go. There's the bait. We've spent about an hour measuring up the cab, um, going through what we need, um, finding out that there's a part missing, which I didn't know in the cab, which is an interesting bit of trim. It's only a bit of trim, but I should be able to find that somewhere. And, um, yeah interesting um we're thinking about three days on the truck to do the cab so that's putting down some uh of that sound deadening that i bought uh putting down some carpet and some insulation it doesn't really need insulation but some of it's bare metal cab so it rings a little so you just it's not that it's a loud cab as you as you've heard but um just makes it a bit easier makes it a bit easier on long, on long trips. So I'm just, uh, just having to sit down in the barn. This is, uh, it's a beautiful day today, but it's just a bit too warm out there. It's about 22 degrees and uh, yeah, pasty, bald northerners and uh, ginger people just sizzling. So there we go. 
Um, I'll show you where Rosie sitting here uh, in the barn. There she is. If you want to know how big how big they are? I, I'm sat down in a in a uh, in a camping chair. Just showing you the bit of progress today. Not much, but nice. Got the uh, got the winch hook on. I've put these big recovery eyes on the back. I didn't like them on the front; they didn't look right. So uh, they're on the back there. I've got to figure out actually. So to make stop, but somebody pilfering them. So. Cool, what? Get the winch wired up then. That'll be it's gonna help, isn't it? It's, it's going forward slowly. Uh, that's it, really. That's all I can say about that. Um, I'm hoping the registration comes through, uh, papers come through, so I can drive her to um, to the show, um, the Overland show. Because um, if they don't come through, that's that's covered. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll see from there. That's about it. I hope you've enjoyed this one and uh, catch you soon. Cheers, bye.